All right, so tonight we're gonna to be looking at how to fill a tilt and trim outboard motor. The motor I'm gonna be doing this on tonight is a 1978 Johnson Stinger 75. But most outboards, especially these Johnson Evinrude OMCs are gonna be the same. So when you raise your motor up, you'll notice that your reservoir is right here. So you're going to want to take this screw with a flat head, turn it counterclockwise. Now see if there's some pressure leak there. Oh, the screw fell. So this is where you're going to be filling your, or filling or topping off your tilt and trim fluid. First, before we do that though, I wanna lower the jack on the trailer and make sure this reservoir is level so that when we fill it up, we get the proper level. When you fill it, you're gonna to wanna to fill it until you, just till you start to see it seeping out the hole just a little bit. All right, we're back now, I got it. Just about as level as I can get it, letting the trailer all the way down. Now for fluid to use for this, I'm gonna be using this Johnson Evinrude power trim, tilt and steering fluid. You can use Dextron ATF-3 or a hydraulic oil. Running a Johnson motor, I, I recommend using the Johnson fluid. However, the other two options may work. Now if you, let's say you stick something down in the reservoir and the fluid is red, then that's probably ATF and I would replace it with the same thing. However, if it's, I don't know if you can tell in there, a honey color, and that's most likely this Johnson Power Tilt and Trim Steering Fluid. So I'd replace it with that. So now we're going to go ahead, stick this in there. And pretty much go until it starts to leak out. That should be good for now. Cap back on. Then you're gonna take your screw. Put your screw back in. it up with the flat head. Now we're going to come up here. You're going to want to raise the motor. If you have these locks on it, take those off now. Now you're going to want to cycle the motor up and down a few times to work that fluid in that you added. Now whether you're completely low on fluid, like completely out of fluid, or just really low on fluid like I am, it'll be the same process. Just undo that screw and fill it up. Now we're gonna undo that screw again. Depending on the fluid used, you might have a little bit of foaming. Use my rag here. 
here. Just wipe this off. And now you're going to want to add a little more fluid until it runs out. Cycle the motor down and up and do that till you've done it a total of three times. And your, then your motor should be good to go and your tilt and trim should work properly as it should.